Astronomers announced the discovery of a second repeating fast radio burst. Over the years, astronomers have been baffled by a unique phenomenon that sends a transient radio pulse of length ranging from a fraction of a millisecond to a few milliseconds. It is known as a fast radio burst, or FRB. Astronomers believe that it is caused by some extremely high energy astrophysical process happening deep somewhere in the universe. The strength of an FRB has been described as 1,000 times less than the strength of a mobile phone signal that would be received from the Moon. Astronomers are not sure as to what causes an FRB. In 2016, scientists made a breakthrough when they discovered the first repeating FRB. They realized that a series of bursts was coming from one single source. Now, in 2019, scientists have stumbled upon a second repeating fast radio burst. The first signal from this new source was received on August the 14th, 2019. Then, within the next couple of months, the researchers received four more signals from the same FRB source. According to researchers, this new FRB source that has been named FRB 180814 is located at a distance of about 1.6 billion light-years away. A detailed analysis of the first repeating fast radio burst had revealed that it was probably coming from an extremely magnetic environment, so there is a possibility that it could be coming from a neutron star or a black hole. However, when the scientists measured the polarization of a signal received from this newly discovered repeating FRB, they found it to be very low. This has led researchers to believe that not all FRBs are coming from extreme environments. With the discovery of the new repeating FRB source, researchers are now confident that they will soon be able to discover more sources of repeating fast radio bursts. GJ504b In 2011, scientists made an extraordinary discovery when they discovered GJ504b, also known as Gliese 504b a planet that is still glowing from the heat of its formation. Scientists estimate that this bright pink-coloured planet is located at a distance of about 57 light-years from Earth. This exoplanet orbits a sun-like star named 59 Virginis, located in the Virgo constellation. This star is visible in the sky during nighttime and it can be easily seen with the naked eye. Chances are that you have already seen this star up in the sky, amongst the thousands of other visible stars. Scientists estimate that the planet GJ504b is about four times bigger than Jupiter and the solar system it is located in is approximately 100 to 200 million years old. This is a remarkably young age when compared to other solar systems in the universe. Our solar system is estimated to be about 4.571 billion years old. The close observation of the newly formed GJ504b planet has given astronomers new insights into the development process of planets. Astronomers believe that this planet is still undergoing changes at a very rapid pace. According to one NASA scientist, if we could travel to this giant planet, all we would see is a world brightly glowing from the heat of its formation. The Great Attractor Black Hole Although impossible to know for certain as to what is causing this strange disturbance, it is believed that a black hole the size of which has never before been theorized exists at the center of one of the largest gravitational wells to exist in our local galactic supercluster. Although many might be well aware of the large supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy responsible for the movement of the entire spiral-shaped galaxy of ours, many are completely unaware of what is known as the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor refers to an unknown space anomaly discovered to be at the center of the local Laniakea supercluster. Unfortunately, scientists can't explain or get better information regarding the Great Attractor as it appears to be in the zone of avoidance, of which means that the majority of the space there is completely obscured by the energy created by the Milky Way galaxy. Gravitational measurements, however, show that the Great Attractor is not only pulling our own galaxy towards it, but all of the nearby galactic superclusters in our area. Although many scientific reports believed the majority of surrounding space to be moving away from us at increasing speeds, 
Many believe that this might be tied to the gravitational force of the great attractor pulling the majority of the galaxies around us into its overwhelmingly and impossible to understand the gravitational well. This has caused scientists and computer simulation estimates to believe that the great attractor is that of a supermassive black hole that dwarfs the singularity at the center of our galaxy by thousands of light years in distance. Information surrounding this theory is incredibly limited, however, by the zone of avoidance and it looks like scientists won't be able to truly give scientific insight as to the cause until the human race learns the ability to travel outside of the Milky Way galaxy to gather further information. This ultimately means that despite this natural phenomenon being the most influential event on our local galactic supercluster, humans may never learn the true nature as to its cause for the foreseeable future and can only guess the size by gathered information of surrounding celestial bodies. First Plants Planted on the Moon Seen as one of the most incredible landmarks of human history is the recent discovery made in the field of science technologies that involves the first successfully planted and grown plants on the moon. Back on the 14th of January of this year, the Chinese government posted on their Twitter handle PDChina that the Chinese space agency had brought a seed to the moon and that the seed had successfully sprouted and could be a part of the first biological experiment on the moon. There is still a long way to go, however, and the sprouting of the cotton seed is nothing more than the first step in the right direction after decades of ill improvement in space agencies from around the world attempting colonization efforts of any kind. The truth is, the cotton seed is not in contact with the lunar surface. Instead, they sit comfortably inside a completely sealed, self-sustained biosphere that consists of the cotton seed, potato seed, yeast, soil and fruit fly eggs. If the biosphere can successfully undergo through all the phases and stages of light throughout its containment without any issues arising, this could prove to be the first evidence of a stable biosphere on the surface of the moon. With this incredible scientific advancement starting off the year 2019, we can expect to see more scientific experiments concerning biological studies as the efforts being made by current space agencies are similar to that of a modern day space race to break all the records previously conceived. In fact, Chinese space agencies are promoting the idea of growing and gathering resources on the moon to help lighten the cargo load for space missions to Mars in the near future and to help offset costs of future space missions to the Red Planet. Astronomers at the University of Warwick present the first direct evidence of white dwarf stars solidifying into crystals. Another amazing space-related discovery was made in 2019 when the astronomers working at the University of Warwick found evidence of white dwarf stars solidifying into crystals. White dwarfs are stars like our Sun that have died long ago. The recent study has shown that these stars have a core of solid carbon and oxygen because of a phase transition in their life cycle. This phenomenon is quite similar to the phenomenon of water turning into ice. However, with stars, it happens at much higher temperatures. These new insights have led the scientists to believe that the white dwarfs could be much older than they were previously thought. In fact, they could potentially be billions of years older than previously thought. White dwarfs are amongst the oldest objects in our universe. Scientists have been using these stars as cosmic clocks in order to estimate the age of the neighboring stars. During the recent study, scientists observed 15,000 white dwarfs located within a distance of 300 light years from Earth. According to researchers, it is the first direct evidence of white dwarf stars solidifying into crystals. Now researchers believe that all white dwarf stars crystallize at some point in their life. Scientists have estimated that our Sun will also become a crystallized white dwarf after approximately 10 billion years.